Hi guys, how are you? I have such an amazing message for you today. I felt that you needed to hear this and so I stopped what I was doing to give you a special message. So I was thinking about uh, how when we're broken up with, we have this massive blow to our ego and we're put in this really uncomfortable situation really fast. So there's a huge shock and there's really, our mind just races to fix the feeling of having your ego hurt, it also races to fix just feeling uncomfortable, um, being on your own. So then it's telling you, hey, you have to make this right. You have, to, you have to right away get them, get your ex to come back. You have to fix this right away so that we don't have to deal with this uncomfortable feeling. But it's actually pretty much the opposite of what you should do. Your mind is just gonna race and tell you to do all this stuff so that you don't feel rejected, so that you don't feel less than, so that you can keep that picture of yourself that you have in your head, and or that picture of who you'd like to be. And it's that uncomfortable feeling that makes us act desperately. So even if you, when your ex broke up with you, you acted pretty desperately. Some people do, actually most people do. So if you did that, don't worry, it's not a big deal. Um, I've done that, so it doesn't make you pathetic or sad. It's just some. It's just a trick your brain's playing on you to make you try to fix the issue quickly. So if you acted that way, I want to give you some comfort right now and say it's okay. Um, many people do that, including me. So it doesn't mean anything really. It just means your brain was trying to fix an uncomfortable situation. So. A lot of times when people break up with us, right? It's because something's not working. So before you can really get back with your ex, you have to think about what the issue was. What was it that wasn't working? Because otherwise this issue is gonna keep coming up. And actually telling them that you hear them and you understand them is gonna be one of the really, really big contributors into them coming back. If you say that, let's say the issue is um, that you always go out with your friends and don't invite them. If you tell them, I hear you said that, and you know, I gave it some thought, and you're right, that's gonna be a huge incentive for them to come back because that was the whole problem. It's really like the most important thing is that you fix that issue, whatever it was. But a lot of times when people break up with us, and this is why the no contact works so well, it's not actually to break up with us, it's to punish us. So to pretty much punish you for not hearing their needs, because I'm sure it's not the first time, most people break up in a fight. You have a fight, it's like an irrational decision. Okay, we're gonna break up. But really what that's saying is, I need space. You're not hearing what I've been asking of you, and I'm so frustrated now that I need space. So they say, let's break up in this very heated moment because their brain is telling them, hey, this feels so bad. You're trying to get them to understand this and they're not understanding it. And it's just making us feel so bad. So just end it, end the bad feeling. So then you have this irrational, okay, let's break up and that puts an end to it. So it's important to realize whatever that issue was and to see people usually act out of frustration. They're either A, punishing you for not listening to their point, B, their brain is just shut. This is very, with men, this is, happens a lot, is their brain just shuts off. It says, I tried to explain this. Men are not good at communicating and they give up very easily. So it's like, I tried to explain this. Now it's easier for me to just shut off because this is such an uncomfortable feeling. I'm so frustrated that I've explained this problem and it's not resonating. So I'll just shut it off. And so that's just a way for them to protect their self. But usually when you give somebody space, because usually that's what it is. When somebody wants to break up, it's usually I just want space because communicating with you wasn't working. So, I almost forgot where I was going. It's really important that you give someone space. 
after they break up with you. Especially if it's in one of those irrational breakups where they were, you guys were fighting. Because it's usually just their brain shutting down and being like, I can't take this anymore, I need space from this. So it's really important that you actually give them that space so that they can reset their brain to maybe tackle the problem again. Because, and when they've reset their brain to tackle the problem again with you, you really need to be responsive to hearing it so they don't shut off like that again and just say, okay, no more, I need space. Also, when you, don't, when you let someone have their space, you change the power because here they're thinking, I have all the power, I shut this off. It's a loud plane. So they're thinking, I have all the power, I shut this off. And once, whenever my brain feels better, I can come back. But when you don't contact them, it shifts the power dynamic and it says, I shut this off. When my brain feels better, I can come back. But when you don't reach out to them, they're thinking, oh, maybe I can't come back. So it's gonna make them wanna solve the problem quicker, just like you, how you wanted to solve the problem really quickly because you felt uncomfortable. So when they start to feel uncomfortable, they're gonna also wanna solve the problem really quickly so that they don't have to deal with the discomfort. So as soon as they get that little thought in their head, oh, sh she hasn't, or he hasn't contacted me, they start to feel a little bit uncomfortable instead of just uh, leaving the uncomfortableness of the fight, they start to feel the uncomfortableness of, oh, maybe I made a mistake. And the fact that they're the one who broke up with you, there's actually a lot more weight on them because they are the one who put themselves in that uncomfortable feeling. So it's really their fault. So as the person who got broken up with, you have way less responsibility. All you have to do is make sure that when they come back, you're willing, ready to solve that issue without fighting and become a, you're becoming a better person for yourself. But for them, there's so much uh, responsibility because they're like, oh, I did this. I made this uncomfortable feeling. Did I make the right decision? Because it is a big decision. And once they've calmed down, they're going to have to think, did I make the right decision? And when they start missing you and they have that uncomfortable feeling, they're gonna be wanting to fix it quickly. So let them have that time and let them feel that uncomfortable feeling and don't hinder it. You just work on yourself during the time and make sure that you are ready to fix the problem so that they don't just shut off again. I hope that was what you guys needed to hear today and I hope you see how much power you have in just doing, working on yourself and not bothering them. You really have so much power since you are not the one who made the decision. And it's pretty much all on them. So there will be a time of panic for them. So just stay calm, leave them alone, and everything will be okay, I promise.